published 2149 EDT, the 27th of October 2017 updated 0923 EDT, the 28th of October 2017 sympathy streamed in for Jared Woodgate after he was brutally rejected by Sophie Monk in the Bachelorette finale. But on Friday night, it was the show's winner Stu Londi who fans took pity on after he appeared on the project with his new partner. The show's co-hosts were slammed as being rude towards the 44-year-old by fans on social media. Scroll down for video you're being a bunch of jerks fans slam the project hosts for their treatment of Stu Londi after he appeared on the show with Sophie Monk. The pair looked taken aback when they were instantly asked by co-host Mesha Laurie if they were still together. Jared's already told us earlier that he's here if you need, she added, which prompted an unimpressed reaction from Sophie. Instead of asking about the pair's relationship, fellow co-host Gorgie Coughlin then opted to grill Stu on his motives for going on the program. I want to ask someone like you who's got lots of money, thankfully four really healthy kids, what was your reason for going on the show she asked. Viewers took to Twitter to voice their displeasure over the interview, with one saying when has a chosen bachelor bachelorette ever been treated like that on the project panel were disgraceful. Apologize to Stu. Backlash the show's co-hosts were slammed as being rude towards the 44-year-old by fans on social media outrage a disgruntled viewer suggested previous winners of the series haven't received the same treatment as Stu he's a nice guy one viewer hit out at the project's hosts, calling them a bunch of jerks she's a nice guy and you're all being a bunch of jerks, another wrote. One viewer went as far to say they would never watch the current affairs program again because of their rude treatment of Stu. The viewer pointed towards the show's hosts saying they were in Team Jared only moments before Stu arrived at the desk with Sophie, 37. That interview with Sophie and Stu was negative in tone not helped by the presenters, said, it's her choice not yours people, added another viewer. How rude one viewer went as far to say they would never watch the current affairs program again because of their rude treatment of Stu Stu and the blonde beauty appeared on the show 24 hours after the Bachelorette finale went to air, and the couple, whose relationship is rumored to be on shaky ground, appeared to have their first televised lover's tiff when they couldn't agree on how their first meeting really occurred. Sophie starting telling the project panel how she remembered their initial encounter, with Stu quickly interjecting to rebut her story, it's her choice not yours. Another viewer said the interview with Sophie and Stu was negative going public. Stu and the blonde beauty appeared on the show 24 hours after the Bachelorette finale went to air Love at Last. Sophie, 37, picked millionaire pub owner Stu, 44, as the winner of the Bachelorette during Thursday night's final eight has long been reported. Stu had invited Sophie on a date on his super yacht in Sydney, with the former Bardot star standing the millionaire public and up without an explanation. I met him for one second and yeah, a guy that goes I've got a boat, I'm like nah Sophie said. Stu quickly came to his own defense, speaking over the blonde ID ID and T say that okay, whatever, so, he said in between laughter, before Stu joked I think I said my daddy's got a boat, their history it has long been reported Stu had. Invited Sophie on a date on his super yacht in Sydney, with the former Bardot star standing the millionaire public and up without an explanation ID ID NT say that Sophie began telling the project panel how she remembered their initial encounter, with Stu quickly interjecting to rebut her version of events Sophie, continuing with her version of events, rolled her eyes as, she said anyway, I was like any guy who does that, he just wants a model or someone famous and I was like no ending the chat on a positive note, the actress and singer added when he came on the show, I was like he's committed Stu nodded in a agreement, seemingly proud that he had put it all on the line for his lady love. Anyway, I was like nope Sophie rolled her eyes at her bow and continued telling how she remembered their first meeting change of heart Sophie ended the chat on a positive note, turning to stare affectionately at Stu while admitting his decision to pursue her on the show highlighted that he was committed dramatic finale standing on a secluded island in idyllic Fiji, an emotional Sophie declared her love for the father of or as she poured her heart out.